high jet, crossed out to France. <laughs> Did that originate from bare knuckle, that crossbar? It's actually what we're using now. Uh, obviously, is in kung fu positional yeah. defense. That's what we're using. People use that not only for Yeah, it's it. They, they use it traditionally in boxing. So if you watch a lot of the, a lot of the old good good old boxers use it. Fraser used it. Yeah. Um, Fraser used to use it. Um, go jab, uppercut now, cover, cross cover. So it was just a, it was all an extension where we had the chance to, as was said before, to take the normal boxing, but to add the defensive postures that you know that I think uh, some of the positions have been lost <laughs> in boxing. You know, it's been lost because yeah. you don't they don't use it anymore, they don't need it, but for, for this this is set for it. Um, one of the inside uh, cover guards we use or blocks on the inside that we'll use in a minute is really, really good for bare knuckle. It works well for bare knuckle, not so much with gloves. But you can still use it with gloves. It's just sort of not used as much anymore. Yeah. And it was just that folding, you know, it's just that folding side to side cover position that you use on a good close quarters fighter. Right. Okay, so the one we'll use now, which is a, which is a right hook, right. So this is um, where we use a right. We'll defend a right hook, we block and we'll shoot on the inside of the arm. This position here is the one I was talking about before, where we'll block and shoot on the inside. Straight right hand on the end of that now, and we're on the inside of the arm. So she will move into the, into the wrist, moves into the arm, takes the pressure off the arm and opens the gap for the punch on the inside. So it's taking a bit of all of it, a little bit of yeah, yeah. 35 years of doing it. Now we've got a chance to actually let it out. Actually, yeah, yeah, we can do it. You know, Ben up has brought it to the forefront. Nice. Shot. <laughs> Positional defensive position and hooking position yeah. from different punches, and it's worked really, really yeah. well. But you know, the, the thing with Beck is that this stuff would normally take someone a long time to learn, you know, years of training. Yeah. And she's just picked it up, you know, everything got thrown at her, she's picked up instantly, and she's been able to use it almost instantly, which is pretty okay. rare. So her brain for uh, fighting capacity or, or, or learning skill is, is really good. Just go back to jabs now. Do the punches hurt more in this or the, the defensive guards? When you, when you hit the defensive guards, so what we do in training, um, her training partner is uh, eight lambs, number 15, one boxer, two straight boxer. So when they train open hand, a lot of times we'll palm, we'll palm the shots after a while because that knuckle is just getting, yeah. it just blows the knuckle off. But I think the other thing is a lot of, I know after Beck's first fight, 
parents were saying that they were going to imitate or copy her, you know, defensive techniques, but I, I don't think they understand the skill that's involved in it. it you've got to time it right, you've got to have good position, you've got to, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, to have good blocking time. She's done really, really well with it. It's like a duck to water, so yeah, it's worked well. Can't do a plunge. No, no, no. You can't. You can't more time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. One hand for the oil. Yeah. 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 Yeah.